Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It's Wednesday. You know what Wednesday is? Chicken fried steak day. Well. And bowling. There you that go. That I missed last week. There you go. And hey, you know what? I'm glad you missed. Because <clears throat> I was not on my best performance <laughs> last week. And you know what? That'll be tomorrow's topic. Being on your best show. performance? No. Missed. What I missed Wednesday and something that was said when I missed. I think it's a good topic. Okay. We'll do that. Today I want to talk about my shirt and how you people, and I've talked to Gerald, our buddy down at the car barn, Brad, Price, and them, how, and this is for more people that are self-business owners. I'm going to go with, you know, Shane and them are, uh, our Chris at Cryo is, David ADS. You may not know this, but people... Pay attention to you. We were in Walmart. I'm behind. The, I'm getting my ham at the counter. Lady goes, "I wish I had my picture on my shirt." And I went, "Oh, I don't, you know." And she went, "No, I know who you are." She went, "My father-in-law was in one of y'all's episodes, okay. which was Jim Weber." Gotcha. Ex-father-in-law. So they're not married anymore. But to me, it got me thinking, dude. We are branding ourselves daily and it's not just your shirt it's kind of like this is our brand and this is <clears throat> yesterday the backyard two people stopped me i opened the door for them two people stopped me and they went what's up with these shirts and i went i said well me and one of the other owners own a little tv company we do independent movies and stuff she said i saw y'all's guys all over wade bowen film so, and there was just three of them. Yeah. But and within 4,000 people or however many was there. But they were everywhere. But they were noticed. Right. Just like our vans. Our vans used to get noticed our all eight, the time. Our eight vans. Yes. Man, I see y'all's vans all over town. Do, do you know how to self-promote yourself? I'm not good at this. Chris knows it. He said it years and years ago. Dude, you should walk in there. And you got tattoos and long hair, and you go in somewhere and you wear a shirt, tell people who we are, and I'm not good at it. You're good at it, you just won't do it. There, well, that's the thing. You you are really good at it, but you won't do it. And I'm trying to learn as we get older to be better at it. Hey, dude, this <clears throat> is who we are. You know, you you would be that artist. You would be that artist that would play the show and not go to the merch booth. Yes, and that's horrible. That's horrible. That is not that is, you are absolutely right. And and it's not that I don't enjoy the people. I f I it, this is gonna sound stupid. I feel embarrassed sometimes. No, 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 no. That is not stupid. I you have your whole fitness still going? Yeah. And you set your camera up and get an action shot? Ain't hey, I can't do that. I would feel ridiculous, but when it comes to your wheelhouse, you're fine with it. Yes, yes. That's the big difference. Comfort zones. It's all about comfort zones. Comfort zones. You people that are that work for somebody, we get it. We've done that before too. It's hard to promote when you're promoting for your company that you're an eight to five guy. I get it. I, I, we've got plenty of friends that do it, but when you're on your own. You got to do this kind of stuff and you got to talk to people. And I, I have no problem talking to people until Chris goes, we need to be here so everybody can come right to you. And I go, oh, I won't go there, Chris. I see why you didn't follow in your dad's footsteps because you'd have went, hey, amen. See y'all. You wouldn't have went to the front door and went, hey, I thanks for coming. That's exactly thanks for coming. Right. I don't thanks know for why. coming. Thanks for coming. That's what my dad did. I mean, seven. That's, that's what uh, I would do that. I, you're, man, why is that? Why is my comfort level? <clears throat> and I feel. For somebody that is as confident as you are, that's, that's what makes it weird. That's I what makes it weird. Hey, Russell, would you call uh, out to Hollywood and ask for Jamie Foxx? Yeah, you got the number? Hey, Jamie Foxx there? No, he told me to call. I know. Oh, yeah, I saw him down at the Walmart, and uh, he gave me his, gave me this number. 
Yeah, he said he was working on, uh, I forget what, uh, 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 Rush Hour 9. Yeah, Rush Hour 9. Can you grab him? Can you grab him? Oh, that's just the Home Depot. That's just the Home <laughs> Depot deal. I'm still in uh, long distance from Home Depot. Oh, I did that, by the way. <laughs> I did that. So, it, that's what's weird. I can't, I can't, I can't figure it out. For Come me, level. I have to stay right here. And when that person comes over to me, I'm fine. You know or, that. Or anytime <laughs> alcohol helps. That helps. Or anytime we have went on a sales meeting or something, if you kick the door in, you don't have to say anything else. I know. That works perfect. I just can't get the door open. I act like it's locked. Yeah, that works perfect. I can't perfect. get in it. That It's getting you in, and that's another thing for me, like you just said, is weird. Once it's open, dude, I don't, I don't have to never talk to Jamie Foxx again. That's what's cool. Right. Once the door's open, Chris is like, hey, man, what's going on? And then it all starts flowing. But he can't get the door open, and I don't want to go to the door. But I think that, that, that works out with teamwork because there's things you do well, there's things that I do well. And over the years, we've learned to complement those. You know, used to every shot. Man, we ought to get this. And you're like, well, why don't we get that? We're over here. <laughs> like, okay, I, maybe I should just keep my mouth shut on something like that. Or scheduling or, or whatever it is. But it's, it's at a comfort level with us because that's what, you know, we're talking about you're branding yourself and being comfortable talking about yourself. I feel we are comfortable talking about, I'm more comfortable Man, talking we're, about we're, you. Yes, yes. I am more, I am more comfortable talking you up I'm to somebody than, than I am hard. myself. But you as a business of Shane and, 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 and Chris and Cryo, you, you got to, and y'all have somebody else. You got to learn those strengths and weaknesses from each other. Because if not, you all have that meltdown in 2011 when he threw the chair like that across the room at me. It was a good chair and it broke. And, uh, and so it cost us like 60 bucks. Yeah. What's your comfort zone? How do you learn to promote yourself? Tell us some of the things you do. Everybody wears shirts. I mean, what what is it? I mean, this is... This is Social big. media, billboards, TV, radio. It's all expensive. I totally agree. So we took the... You think we want to... I, I and you don't near as much. You wear, you wear some different shirt. shirts, but I ordered different colors this this yeah. last go round to where I didn't feel like I was red, red and black. black, yeah, and red all over, white and black and red all over. I I was, <clears throat> and thank the Lord, my colors are red, so I'm happy with that. Chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes today. Get down there, enjoy it, and I'm very anxious about what our topic is tomorrow because we talked about bowling. Yeah, so I'm kind of wondering what that is. Until tomorrow, I am Russ, this is Chris, and we are out of here.